Hello and welcome back to my channel. Finally I've decided to sit down, get my act together and film a sit down video. I thought um, just to start things off and ease myself back into filming, although I do feel like I say this every single time I do a sit down video, it's been a while, um, but anyway I thought I'd do a little favourite video and just kind of think of a few little things that I've been really enjoying recently, um, some new things that I might not have spoken about before. Some of them are beauty products, um, some of them are not beauty products, that's all I'm going to say, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite number one is this beautiful little item here. This is just some simple concealer. For years and years and years I didn't wear concealer. I think obviously, I mean I don't wear much makeup, I don't like to wear much makeup and I think I must have used the wrong concealer many years ago and I felt like it was really heavy and I felt like maybe it didn't even match my skin tone or something but I felt like it made my eye bags feel worse and look a bit more obvious that I was trying to cover them up and that is what I don't like about makeup sometimes is when it actually looks like you're trying to cover something up. Anyway, so I stayed away from concealer for years and then I hit my 30s and I saw somebody talking about this concealer here and I thought, Do you know what, let's give it a shot again because I felt like I could see my eye bags were getting a little bit worse. I thought let's give it a shot and I really like it. I I think that it suits my skin tone. I've bought it in 00 Ivory, so the palest one you can possibly find. It doesn't look too heavy, which is brilliant. The applicator is just a little sponge, and you can just pop that on with the sponge, like so, or you can use a little brush and just dab at it and um, try and get the product off like that, because obviously there's a little bit of a hygiene concern if you are prone to spots and things. Maybe you just don't want to keep using the same sponge bit over and over again without washing it. Um, I don't know whether you could really wash that. So yeah, I'm just using the sponge for now. I find that is working out for me quite nicely. So I just pop it on with the sponge and then just either dab it with my finger or use a use my foundation brush just to kind of blend it in a little bit. I have it on today. So you can judge for yourself whether it looks any good or not. But yes, if you're new to concealer or you're just looking for a new one, I definitely recommend this little item here. I'm gonna put the links below in the description box as well. Okay, moving on from beauty, I would like to talk about, this has been out the fridge, so it's gone a bit weird, um, Oatly Oat Milk. This little beautiful box has changed my life. Obviously, I love milk. I have always drank so much milk, so much. On cereal, in cups of tea, in so many cups of tea. <laughs> Just glasses of milk, strawberry milkshake, everything. I absolutely love milk. And if you check back in one of my previous videos, or if you are already continuously watching, then you will have seen um, my little vegan video I did with my friend Arlena, who is a full vegan, and she introduced me to this. And I'm not becoming vegan. Um, I am changing a few of my habits and eating a little bit more plant-based. Sometimes. Not all the time, but I'm trying. Um, just to make a few little small changes to help. The thing about this is I tried it, and I quite liked it and then I put it in tea and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It's got such a creamy texture and when I drink tea I just I'm after like a creamy sugary drink and this makes it like a hundred times more creamier but like not in a sickly way. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I just I think it's beautiful. Um, so this is my favourite one. I've tried a few different other ones and this one is Oatly Barista Edition. Now it is about £1.80 most places I've seen it is £1.80 so it's more expensive than milk but I just use it for cups of tea really so it does last me a while and yeah because I don't really I'm not really having cereal recently so that's not really an issue right now and to be honest maybe when I have cereal I will just have normal milk I don't know I I've not quit normal milk completely strictly it's just that I have been using this in my tea for like over a month or so now probably two months and I absolutely love it so if you're looking for something different and you just want to give something a go 
I definitely recommend this and I think this would be amazing in coffee as well I know a lot of people rave about this one in coffees I don't like coffee so it's not really yeah something I'm going to try definitely try it it's good for the environment and all that kind of stuff and it tastes really 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 nice okay going back to beauty now i'm going to talk about this little thing that probably doesn't look all that clean this is an eyebrow product and i am really not one for eyebrow products i never ever ever tried anything like this before i have always used just a light brown eye pencil to do my eyebrows Basically, I have super invisible eyebrows and I have to get them tinted every now and again to make them visible. This, for in between my tints, even just, even after they've been tinted, they just kind of, when I put some makeup on, they just kind of fill in those little gaps and make it really nice. As I say, I'm not a massive makeup fan. I don't wear a lot of makeup and I want to kind of look natural, so I don't want to have crazy big eyebrows that are really bold. Like, yeah, I don't want to have that kind of thing, but... You could, if you wanted to, use this project to make those kind of eyebrows, but you could also use it if you want them to look quite natural. And I am absolutely loving this because, obviously with the pencil, you can only really get, it's very hard not to get a straight line. Like, it's very hard not to make it look like you've just drawn on your face with a pencil. And this basically has two little brushes in it. It's very small, it's very, very small, and I have quite big hands, and I do find it quite difficult to use. So I would prefer it if it was bigger, I don't know whether you can get any bigger versions. This is the Ramel Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Kit, and I never thought I'd own one of these, but yeah, I do now. Basically it has a little tiny brush in it. I'm not gonna show you them closer, because they have product all over them. It's just like a little mascara brush, and that just means that you can, I'll show you this. You can brush your eyebrows. <laughs> God, we girls do weird things, don't we? And then the next bit is very fiddly. <laughs> the next one has two little ends on it. One of them is kind of a harder brush and the other one is quite a soft brush. And the hard brush you use in the wax section and then the soft brush you use in the kind of like eyeshadowy section. It's basically like powdery section. So all I do is use a tiny bit of the wax and pop that on very, very lightly, trying not to put too much on to make it too bold or too dark. And then I literally just go over it very, very lightly again with the powder section and then give it another little brush at the end. And I feel like that is working for my eyebrows right now. <laughs> Judge for yourself whether this looks any good. If somebody is new to eyebrow kits, I definitely suggest just giving this little one a go, really. I know there's a lot a lot of different similar ones on the market so maybe just try try something similar and see what you think this is something a little bit different and might not be for everyone depending whether you think this might help you or not this is just a sleeping eye mask which goes across your face like so shall i film this whole section like this so <laughs> let me tell you a little bit about this jim sometimes goes to bed and puts the telly on so i find Obviously, I mean, he puts it to like the lowest brightness setting, but I still find, you know, I can see the light and it would be nice to kind of block everything out. So I invested in an eye mask. I tried one before this and it was okay, but it kind of fell apart after a while, which was a bit rubbish. And I, and the straps were quite thin. So they kind of had to tuck behind my ear, whereas these I can stick over my ear. <laughs> This is really strange because I don't even know where the camera is right now. <laughs> don't know why I decided to do an American accent for that. Okay. And that wasn't even an accent. I don't know what that was. Anyway, right, act normal, cat, act normal. Okay. So this this one is just from Amazon. I'll link it below. It's not too expensive. And what I was looking for was something that was basically had thicker straps here, but was still quite a padded one in this area and felt like yeah just quite nice these are different to eye masks that are just flat against your eyes and basically not crush your eyes but just like sit completely against your eyes these ones are 3d eye contouring eye masks and they basically have a little dome shape where your eyes are so i i have my eyes open right now and it's not like pushing against the material 
I'll show you inside though. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's a bit boy. I don't know why I did that and then didn't think about the fact that I was gonna have to open my eyes again and adjust to the light. <laughs> the inside of, I've never worn it with makeup, so I probably shouldn't have done that really, shouldn't I, just in case. Anyway, the inside of the mask looks like this, so it looks a bit crazy. It's got two little dome shapes where your eyes are. So your eyes go in there. So if you have, um, I don't know, false lashes or what have you, not, you know, like the permanent false eyelashes and you don't want to, disturb your lashes and like ruin them by putting like a flat eye mask against your eyes and um, this is a genius idea brilliant and genius idea and it's so soft it's so comfortable it's beautiful i absolutely love it um sometimes i sleep with it sometimes even when jim's not got the telly on sometimes i just i feel like it gives me a better sleep because it just really you just kind of know you're in sleep mode you stick this on you're like yeah sleep mode <laughs> I don't know it's a bit strange a bit strange of a feeling but yeah and it's got a lovely little bit for your nose as well very nice little bit for your nose um there so it doesn't really put pressure on your nose I absolutely love it yeah I think if you're looking to get an eye mask I'd definitely recommend this one so have a little look in the description box and check this one out another little beauty product here again I don't know why I have so many beauty favorites right now because I'm not really an obsessive beauty person but there you go this is this is what's going on right now okay normally i'm one for using gel nail polish i do my own gel nails and i've done it for years and years and years but sometimes i like to give my nails a little bit of a break and for some reason at the moment i when i took off my last gel nails i just wanted to wear clear polish i just wanted to trim them down wear clear polish and just kind of look after my my nails naturally i mean obviously gel gel polish it's not too damaging and it's not like acrylics, I didn't have extensions or anything like that, but I just wanted my natural nails to breathe and have a little bit of, um, just a little bit of a break really from having the thick shellac on. And I bought this the other day because I, I didn't even own a clear, a clear nail varnish. So this is double duty for base and top coat. So it gives a nice shine to the top and also protects for a base. And I have absolutely loved using this for the past week or so. Um, I just kind of felt like, yeah, my nails needed a break, so I've given them a good trim, and I don't know how to show this. <laughs> it's very weird showing my nails to the screen. Um, there we go. Yeah, I think it's gonna help my nails kind of keep strong and stop them staining if I do want to put a color on. And I just think they look quite natural and clean, and I really like that look at the moment. Last item now, and this is a budget planner and I absolutely love box clever stuff for stationery um, I think they really do brilliant beautiful diaries I've got a wall calendar as well this year um, for my general like life to-do lists and things but this is a genius thing it was only about 6 99 on Amazon and I read some of the comments below saying this seems like it should be more expensive and they didn't expect much like very good quality um, and it's be very useful for about 6 99 but it is brilliant. So yeah, if you're looking for something to kind of keep your life in order and keep your finances in order, I definitely suggest this. So I'll flick through a few of the pages, um, ones that I haven't written on at the moment. Um, let's start. So, very hard to show on here probably, but you have a little section there where you've got kind of monthly, the monthly spread and I think I've added a few things to there as well, things that I know that I'll want to add up totals for for the month. Um, you have a little section there where you can put, put the dates in for the month, so you can obviously write whatever month you want up there. So you can start this any time in the year. Um, you also have a little section there for your income, so I found that quite useful just to write what income I have had during the month. There's a little section on the next page for a debt tracker, so obviously showing what debts you have to pay, and underneath there's a beautiful savings tracker, so this will make sure you keep an eye on what things you have in your bank, what you're saving for, and yeah, try and fill that up nicely is my plan. Um, budgeting, so this just kind of gives an idea of your predictions for the month. And then on the next page, and I've been using this and writing down all of my day-to-day -day spends because it's so easy to um, 
you know, everybody spends on cards these days, and I have done for years and years, and it's so easy to get carried away spending, and if you actually force yourself to write down your spendings, you will see that it's a bit more scary when you realise how much you're spending in a certain shop, or just you probably shouldn't be spending on that much per month and things. It kind of wakes you up to see what it is that you're spending most on, and maybe helps you realise things that you can cut back on. I'm going to find this really, really useful just to work out our bills each month and things and just hopefully kind of get my finances in order. Thank you very much for watching and please click subscribe if you haven't already and stick around because I absolutely love making videos for you all. And yeah, I'm just sounding really cheesy and I don't know why I start to sing at the end of a video. Anyway, goodbye.